So this is the grave plot of Herbert Ingram. He actually died in America, in Michigan, I think it was. Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan. And his son, whose picture, what, what would you call that? It's not a picture, is it? Engraving. An right. engraving is in, uh, included at the top of this plinth. His son was actually never found, so they both drowned in a boating accident on Lake Michigan and his remains were brought back to England. Um, he was a founder of the London Illustrated Gazette. London Illustrated Gazette and probably is one of the most famous people from Boston. Um, so yeah, this is his grave. Quite a sad story that he lost his son and, you know, he remembers him, but he, they were never reunited. But I hope that wherever they are, they are reunited. So I'm going to do a small ghost box here. It is quite noisy because we're near the road, but... As you know, the ghost box will drown all that out, so... See if we can get Herbert to come through. Hello, I'm calling out to the spirit of Herbert Ingram. He's oh, wow, there's lots of good here today. I'm specifically calling out to the spirit of Herbert Ingram. Herbert, are you here? Herbert Ingram Esquire, so obviously the older one. He passed away when you were 49. Is your son with you in heaven? Did you find your son? I hope you did. He's only 15. What happened? Sorry, it's a play. Wait for the plane to go over. So once again, I'm calling out to Herbert Ingram, either older or younger. Are you here? Do you think you could tell me what happened? Was it an accident? I think the problem is when you come to pa uh, cemeteries is that you get so many spirits trying to get through. Yeah. Sometimes it's very difficult to focus on one. Yeah. Are there any other spirits here who knew Herbert or, or didn't know him? Would like to come through? Is your wife buried with you here, but I can't see on here. Oh yeah, Anne. Yeah. Is Herbert Junior here? Yeah, 
I get nothing. Uh, you, so you talk and you can't shut them up. It's Herbert Junior here. Weird. Did you find your dad, Herbert? Are you reunited with him and your mum? I know you're still in America, but hopefully your souls have found each other. Obviously, if I can find any um, anything on the internet to go with the story, I'll pop it in the video. Again, sorry about the airplanes. RAF land here, and I've chosen this week to start the news. Yep. Mr. Herbert Senior. I imagine it was difficult to have the decision to come back to England without your son. It's a beautiful tribute to him on your grave, but leaving him must have been difficult. But I guess, obviously, you both perished, so the choice would have been taken out of your hands. Would you have stayed in America? You were the um, owner of one of the most successful newspapers. I imagine you've covered some amazing stories. And then you was a part of an amazing story. Tragic. Very tragic. Some was only 15. Is there anything you'd like to say? Herbert, before we leave. I know it's on a side note, but my teddy bear's called Herbert. <laughs> after you? Yeah, we named him after you, after your statue in the Boston Town Centre. So it seems almost fitting to be here, full circle almost. I'm going to leave you now. Thank you. You've left us a message. And I hope that you've found peace with each other and your wife. And um, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Goodbye. So I think we did get some stuff on there. Definitely. I'll review it, annotate it as we do, and then, obviously, if you hear anything different, then let us know down below. As always, like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Voices From Beyond.